Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how we can modify the previous LED chasing program with a shorter version of code. So let's get started. Before going into the program, let me introduce the concept of for loop and while loop. For loop is a programming component that can make statements go iteratively executed. Like here, when we use for loop, we first need to write for then within the bracket first of all we need to initialize a variable like integer i is equal to 1 it could be any variable like integer a b c or anything you want then we need to put a condition for which the loop will execute so let's say i is equal to 1 1 is less than 5 so for this term it will execute the loop then after execution it will come again into this spot and it will increment the value of i by 1 after incrementing it will again test the logic if the logic is true after first execution i will be 1 plus 1 that is i will be equal to 2 and 2 is less than 5 and it will again enter the loop statements in this manner it will go on until i becomes 5 so 5 is less than 5 it's not true statement or true condition. For that reason, it will exit the for loop and come to the next statement. So in this manner, for loop works. All the conditions, the initialization and increments, these are also present in while loop structure. Say so here, first of all, we need to initialize the while loop variable. Then we need to put a condition in between the first brackets. And at the end of the while loop, we need to introduce the increment both works the same way so let's see how we can use for loop to make our code more efficient and shorter we'll start from here in the previous program we have used pin mode command five times for defining the pins as output we can make it short by using for loop notice here the pin mode becomes from two and go up to six so remember this we'll make a for loop to make this code shorter for integer i and i will start from 2 because our standing value is 2 and i will go for equal or less than 6 because the last value is 6 and i will be incremented by 1 each time then we need to give the command that we want to do repeatedly within the loop i output so now we can erase these codes and all the functionalities of the previous codes will be executed with this three line of code i hope you got the idea how to use for loop in the same manner we can do for turning on sequence so let me introduce a for loop here so for the first value is 2 and last value is 6 as previous integer i equal to 2 i lists or equal 6 i plus plus and what do we want to do repeatedly we want to make digital write to pin number i and make it high and then we want to make a delay delay should be for 500 milliseconds and it will keep doing this until i reaches the value of 6 so within this three line of code we can replace this 10 line of code in the same manner we can replace this 10 line of code with another for loop but remember in this case the sequence of value start from 6 to 2 so it will go downwards remember that so let's start i with 6 and it will be greater or equal to 2 and i will be decremented and each time the loop iterates it will make the i value that is the pin number low so you can see with this for loop structure we can reduce all those codes within this simple line of codes so let's see if the functionality is same as previous 
so you can see the code works the same but this time our code is more modified more efficient and more shorter than the previous ones so see you in the next video in the next video we'll do some more fun experiment with LEDs thank you